Hello everyone, I'm Monica and welcome back to my channel Mooney Reads where I talk about books and things. And today I'm gonna really try to keep this brief because I realize that all of my videos are super long and I'm sorry but I just, I talk so much and I'm going to try to keep this short. I say as I have filmed a one minute um, introduction to the video. But anyway, today what I want to talk about is books that I have on my physical TBR which I predict I will give five stars to. And without further ado, let's just start and get in right into the video. The first book I have here is The Yellow Wallpaper by Charlotte Perkins Gilman. Now, I just think that there's something about this book that is spooky and, I don't know, kind of atmospheric. And then I think that this will be a great five-star read for me. I am so excited to get to this. The next book of my list is the Nightingale by Christian Hanna. It's a book about sisters, it's a book about World War II, it's a book about love between sisters, and we all know how I feel about these books. So I definitely think this will be a five-star read for me if it doesn't completely destroy my heart, which I think it probably will. Next up we have Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. I just think it would be kind of like revolutionary if I didn't give this five stars. And honestly, from what I have read from the synopsis, I think this is precisely the book for me. It's got like the correct amount of sci-fi and also fantasy. And I mean, it's Brandon Sanderson, the author of Elantris. It says so right here. So I think this will definitely be one of those top five books. The next book on my list is a book I really haven't seen anywhere in booktube and that is uh, The Monsters We Deserve by Marcus Sedwick. And this book just sounds amazing. It's told in the most peculiar way. It's, I don't even know how to describe it, but I, the only reason I haven't picked this up yet is because it's not fall. <laughs> and I feel like this is a Halloween book for sure. And it's got illustrations inside and it's, it's just so strange that I think it's my kind of strange. So I think this will definitely be a five star read for me. Next book I have on my five star books prediction is My Cousin Rachel by Daphne du Maurier because I read Rebecca and Rebecca is probably one of my new favorite books of all time and this is by the same author and a lot of people also enjoy this book and from what I've read I will also enjoy this book and and there is a movie out with one of my absolutely favorite actresses called Rachel Weisz uh, that uh, is based off of this book. So I am hoping that I will give the book five stars and also the movie five stars. And stay tuned for a TBR of book and movie adaptation things that I'm coming up with. And this might just feature in it. And finally, the book on my physical TBR that I think I will give five stars to is The Doll Maker of Krakow. Now you might be seeing this after my weekend vlog where I read this and well you will see whether I did give this a five star or not. This is about a doll maker in World War II and I am so excited to get to it. And that's it. Those are the current six books on my physical TBR that I've think that I'm going to give five stars to. We will just have to wait and see because I'm not gonna read, because I'm not planning on reading all of these in the same month, but I will definitely be making an update to this video once I've read all of these books to see if indeed I gave them five stars or not. Okay, I feel that was brief enough for anyone. So um, thank you so much for watching. If you have read any of these books, please tell me down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you in my next video. Bye. I can't believe I managed to keep the filming time under 10 minutes. Let's see what happens when I edit this. But so far, I am very pleased with myself. And I know a lot of people said that they miss my like black and white interjection things. I still do them. I just don't put them in black and white anymore because I don't know, I felt like before it meant like it was something extra and, and really that's just who I am. <laughs> so anyway. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Uh, and now I get to put all of these books back on my shelves, which I just organized. 
Um, and, and my cats decided to leave their favorite toy here. Look at that. This is their absolute favorite toy. They're asleep, so they won't pay attention to it. But they put it up here as in like, Mom, you need a new co-host because Chulu's gone up there. So there's that. 